Opala Abdul trades her judge's seat for the Idol stage as she debuts her very first single in nearly 15 years. And as Paula relaunches her singing career, she's also coming clean about her past. She is finally admitting she was addicted to painkillers for the past 12 years. She's hoping to bring a rest to the rumors that have been swirling around her odd behavior for a long time. Fox 13's Kristen Wright says the idol judge isn't alone when it comes to being hooked on painkillers. Is that what it is? During a 2007 interview with a Seattle TV station, Paula Abdul appeared out of it. People wondered if she was under the influence. There's always technical difficulties that may, may happen that I have no control over. For a long time, the American Idol judge denied accusations of drug use, but the former pop star is changing her tune. She tells Ladies Home Journal she was addicted to pain medication for the past 12 years. Abdul says she suffered from chronic pain after several accidents. She told the magazine of rehab, quote, I could have killed myself. Withdrawal, it's the worst thing. Derek Newberry has been there. It got bad enough to where I was like, okay, I just have to go get more pills because I can't do this. The 26-year-old from Homosassa is recovering from a long addiction to painkillers. They're waking up and not being able to brush your teeth until you did your pill. You know, and then not being able to function at work until you went in the bathroom and did your pill. You know, and not being able to go to sleep until you did your pill. It's terrible. Um, he doesn't describe any pain right now. Dr. Amy Conley is the ER medical director at University Community Hospital. The state of Florida at this time happens to be unfortunately number one in the nation for prescription drug overdoses. We have about nine a day alone in the state of Florida. She says painkiller addiction inflicts all kinds from the super rich like Paula Abdul to everyone else. It was from a friend and then and if he didn't have you know I had another friend I always had like a backup always. Abdul says she's never been under the influence on Idol. She tells Ladies Home Journal she feels 96% better. Newberry spent a week at Novus Medical Detox in Newport Ritchie. He's in a residential treatment program now and looking forward to the future. It's really important to me to finally finish something that I started. Kristen Wright, Fox 13 News. A new bill to create a database to track prescription drug sales in Florida just passed the legislature is now onto the governor's desk awaiting his signature. TMZ will have more on Paula's addiction and her behavior coming up tonight at 1130 right after News Edge. I know a lot of people think she's wacky, but I like her. I, I do too. I, I, do. I, I think I she do. adds a lot to I the do. show. You know, over the years we've come well, to... We're going to miss her, I think. Kind of, kind of, kind of like it. Well, yeah, after a while, you get used to whacking. You. Look at me. You're used to me after a while, so it works out both I ways. It's grown on us. Well, it takes time. <laughs> you kind of like someone at the Thanksgiving dinner table. You just after a couple of years, you're kind of used to them after That's a while. Right.